Hey guys, this is Gabby from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between APR and interest rates. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on how they compare. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the financial scope. Interest rate refers to the amount of money you will pay to borrow and take a loan. It does not reflect requisite fees and other charges. On the other hand, the annual percentage rate APR has a wider financial scope and covers not only the interest but also underwriting fees, discount points, origination fees, insurance and miscellaneous costs. As a result, APR is known to be the true cost of borrowing. Therefore, APR gives a more holistic financial breakdown of a loan's cost rates. Because APR covers the total cost of taking a loan, it tends to have relatively higher rates than regular interest. Interest is influenced by the federal funds rate set by the Federal Reserve, meaning it is more regulated and standardized. Especially during dire economic times, banks and financial institutions must comply with these regulations. Therefore, interest rates are lower and more affordable. Periods. APRs are exclusively calculated on an annual basis. It shows the yearly cost of funds over the term of a loan. By contrast, interest rates are annual percentages but can only be charged monthly, bi-monthly, or even daily. Therefore, interest rates have more flexible periodic payments. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. Both APRs and interest rates are usually expressed as percentages. Additionally, both rates are influenced by factors such as credit score and history. To sum up, how do they compare? I appreciate APRs because they tend to give more information about the real cost of loans. This came in handy when I was shopping around for a mortgage. Although the price was higher, it allowed me to make a more informed decision about the loan to take after comparing my options. However, interest rates are great in my books because of how well regulated they are. When taking a loan, I feel confident that the lender won't exaggerate the cost. I also love how I can set the interest payments as bi-monthly to keep me more accountable. I therefore recommend interest rates over APRs for those reasons. Thanks for watching.